For years, Google Translate, <clears throat> for almost every language, has had a voice for the translation. And uh, <clears throat> the only exception to that was, unfortunately, they did not have a voice for Hebrew. So if you spoke to it in Hebrew, it would speak back to you in English. But if you uh, spoke to it uh, in English, it would not read back to you in Hebrew. It would print it, but it wouldn't read it. So you cannot really be sure of the pronunciations. But recently I discovered Google, hooray hooray, has finally given the Hebrew translation a voice. So now, let me switch to English. Could you tell me where the bus stop is? Well, that's pretty good. It is a literal word for word. So, it's very cool now that you can give it a word or type in a word and just uh, have it read it back to you so that you can add it to your vocabulary and help expand uh, your language. Uh, so you might say, uh, I don't know, uh, could we please have a menu? There we go. So good news for those of us studying and learning Hebrew. Uh, we now have a voice that we can use. Ani kol kach sameach biglal haneyad sheli yachol l'daber achshav. I'm so happy because my cell phone can talk now. Gam b'ivrit, begam ba'anglit. Both in Hebrew and English. And I think that's a plus. Oh. V'ani choshev sheze yitron. Mitzu yan. Mitzu yan, ani sameach mod. Excellent, I'm very happy. Laila Tov, kol hakavod le Google. Good night, Google. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So, for all of us that have been waiting for a voice in Hebrew, we've got it. <laughs>